Begin in a cross-legged position with a straight spine. Inhale, and as you exhale, gently place your palms at your heart. Let your breath be steady as it fills your chest and feel the chest rise and fall with your hands. Continue to breathe in and out as you begin to bring awareness to your heart space. Start to imagine your breath moving in a circle in a clockwise direction from each ventricle and atrium of your heart. Now think of what you truly love doing, your passion. Visualize this and the root of your love-inspired enthusiasm. Imagine this moving in this circle with your breath in your heart. Place one hand to rest on your knee, keeping the other palm at your heart. With the hand that remained at your heart space, take your forefinger and middle finger and start to tap your heart area gently in a rhythm that mimics your breath. Think of the people that are the blessings in your life that propel the passion of what you love doing. With each tap, feel their names in your heart. their faces. Let the love you feel, let the thought that you could never live without them, be your heart's fuel as it continues to beat and flow. At the next inhale, bring your hands down to a prayer position at your heart's center. And think of anything that has served this passion, your life purpose, with immense gratitude. Continue to breathe here. And in this moment, surrender. Feel it with pure, unconditional love. Now bring your hands to rest at your knees and gently open your eyes. Notice how you feel after this guided visualization. The wisdom, the intuition, and openness of your heart is something that you can tap into any time. Doc Childre and Howard Martin of the HeartMath Institute devised a great exercise for harnessing your heart's power to gain control over your thoughts and emotions. It's called the freeze frame technique. The beauty of this is that it only takes a minute, and the steps are as follows. Catch yourself when you enter a state of distress and freeze frame it. Try your best to bring your focus to your heart as we did in this meditation. Although your thoughts and emotions may still be racing, let them become background noises. The author recommends breathing through the heart to help you focus your awareness there. Bring a pleasant memory to mind. Pick one that's fun and happy. Try to relive that memory, feeling what you felt when you were experiencing it. Ask your heart for a better, more efficient solution to the current situation, one that will reduce any future stress. Lastly, listen to your heart's response and write it down in your project book. Congratulations on finishing level four, Axis. In this level, you delved into the deepest recesses of your heart and the fourth chakra. And what we did was tap into the expansive intelligence, consciousness, wisdom, and the powerful energy that lies within your heart. We also learned about the power of unconditional love with regard to every aspect of your being. I encourage you to move forward with embodying unconditional love in your life and all of the other concepts I've shared. 
Focus on and tap into the energies of the 14 triangles of the Sri Yantra to move yourself forward and create what you desire. Remember, it's within these powers that you are granted auspiciousness to achieve what you want. Also remember to access specialized knowledge and the power of love-inspired enthusiasm to develop rapport with others and make your desires and outcomes a reality. I'm looking forward to seeing you again in Level 5 where we'll be exploring how frequencies can change your life.